We are in Queens Village. This is part of the third congressional district of New York. It is a district that George Santos represents. Now, during our time here this evening, we were hard pressed to find someone who was willing to go on camera to weigh in on Santos. Many did tell me that they are tired of this drama, and at this point, they feel the controversy is reflecting negatively on this district. So now all eyes turn to the House Ethics Committee and whether they will move forward with an investigation. That's Dan Goldman along with fellow Congress member Richie Torres hand delivering a copy of the official complaint to George Santos at his office in the Capitol. The two Democratic lawmakers from New York are asking the House Ethics Committee to formally investigate Santos. George Santos needs to be held accountable for his lies. The Republican congressman who represents parts of Queens and Long Island has admitted to lying about his career and personal background. Goldman and Torres are asking the committee to look into whether federal laws were broken surrounding Santos's financial disclosures, namely the sources of his income and the money spent on his campaign. Even though the Republicans promised to drain the swamp, we see the House Republican conference refilling the swamp with the fraudulence of George Santos. The Republicans narrowly control the House, and just days ago, Santos voted for Kevin McCarthy in McCarthy's hard-fought bid for Speaker of the House. McCarthy, like many Republicans, have remained largely silent since the inconsistencies in Santos's story surfaced last month. There's been a lot of pressure on them to do something. The question is, if they decide to do something, what is it they can actually do? Uh, the Ethics Committee is pretty limited in what it's actually allowed to do and in what it chooses to do. Fairleigh Dickinson University political scientist Dan Casino says if the ethics panel does investigate and if Santos is found guilty, disciplinary actions can range from a censure to a fine to stripping him of any committee assignments. The most serious punishment, expelling him from Congress, but that would require a two-thirds majority vote. If they find evidence of a crime, they certainly can refer that to the FBI, but that is just a referral. The FBI doesn't actually have to actually look at it. Really, there's not a whole lot Congress can do to kick him out. And Santos told reporters in Washington today that he has done nothing unethical. Now, meantime, the Nassau County Republican Committee, they say that they're going to be making a major announcement tomorrow morning regarding George Santos. We, of course, stay on top of this story for you.